Welcome everyone, let's talk about the Assault Rifle, Coltem. I finally put 3 gold mods on it. This gun has lately become one of the more used weapons among gamers, and for a good reason. With its high damage output, Coltem is a deadly weapon in the hands of all players. But to make it as effective as you see in this video then you would need to modify it with 3 gold mods. Coltem can take down max players effectively when fully modified. It's a versatile weapon that works well with most operators and there are a few that I tried it with and some who excel with it. Diana, for example, has the power to see and detect operators nearby. This helps her know exactly where all operators are, especially those who have the ability to go invisible like Sharon and Ray. Diana has a weird connection with the assault rifle that somehow always shoots effectively even at lower level. The Diana loadout is most effective with squad's support. Your squad could support you by keeping you alive, while you help them see mines and obviously other operators. But you need to keep in mind that she is weak and her games will be difficult without team support. Another operator that can use Coltem is Dutch. Dutch has a faster fire rate, which helps a little bit when it comes to killing enemies faster. However, it all it's definitely a fun loadout to try, but Dutch is better with the old assault rifle that shoots continuously causing more panic. Let me know if I'm wrong about this one, but Dutch also dies quickly, yet he has the three shots automatically when it comes to Lipra, so that could give you more ability to stay alive. On the other hand, Snek, who I have at a lower level isn't as effective. I know a lot of you guys want to see Snek with this gun, but my Snek is at level 25 with 3 talents which doesn't help when competing against higher level players. Phoenix is another operator that works well with Coltem. Phoenix has the talents for the use of Assault Rifle and Sniper. With a max Assault Rifle, Phoenix shines against most enemies. You all know that I love Phoenix and grown to fall in love with it the more I played it. Maybe it's the ability to constantly throw a cluster of bombs to distract and push people away. Or maybe it's the instant reborn when making a kill right after death. But man this operator has grown to become one of my favorites. I played a lot of games with Phoenix and Coltem and a lot of good squads that helped support me when I needed them. Because of this I had second to most success with the using cult. Shout out to my friend and one of the beasts Blake the Great. Phoenix has a ranged talent along with visual talent that is built for snipers and ARs. It is definitely one of the most interesting loadouts to try. But I just want to remind everyone the fact that XL20 is still here and alive as of today. I wouldn't recommend any other gun aside from that. But the AR I have found to be useful when there is distance between the enemy and yourself. I get bored and try loadouts, and this is one of their loadouts. So keep in mind that XL20 is highly deadly against this gun. Finally, we have Moreau. 
This assault rifle works well with Miro because of flashbang. All the operators that I've mentioned previously are really great playing the assault rifle. But it doesn't matter what loadout you have in the game, it's all fun until someone decides to flash you. At that point you question every loadout no matter how good they do, which ruins your whole day of trying to test loadouts. Flash bangs limit the options for any loadouts, because you'll either need to run every operator with a shield or have MD in your lineup. EMP can take out MD, so at the end that is also useless. It's frustrating for me to test anything because Flash makes everything useless. I don't care if Flash stays or goes, I just want it changed, otherwise this game should be called Miro Cool, for anyone else to even enjoy it. But back to Miro, I found him to be an enjoyable loadout. I won't be flashed and can even take out enemies in smoke. With all the XL20 running around, it'll be harder for them to chase you down, but that's only good for open spaces and open maps. Otherwise, XL20 is a winner any time of the day. In smoke or out of smoke, Lopra has become one of my favorites for when people get too close to you. All in all, the Cult M Assault Rifle with 3 gold mods is a reliable and effective choice for those looking to replace the Rotogun and have a long-range game. This gun can definitely outdo any machine gun, as long as you know how to use it. But when it comes to open maps, be careful from the SMS. You should always make friends and run with squads so you all can support one another. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, because it took a lot of time and energy to make this one. I love the Cult M, but at the end of the day I wouldn't recommend it over XL20. I think it's a good option and deadly when the distance is right but otherwise you would want to run XL20 over this. Share the video with people who you think might benefit from this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you and enjoy.
Chanel. Cruising big scan, bitch. Tide pump, God. That's a liability, bitch. Hit the gas tank. Boosting my umbrella, bitch. Mask on. Fuck your mask on. 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 Mask on, mask on, fuck your mask on, yo.